Konnichiwa. Hello friends, welcome to the wacky world of Mrs. S. Thought you might enjoy a tour of a one studio apartment here in Osaka, Japan. So Dozo, please come in. Um, every apartment in Japan will have an outdoor area for shoes and then you step into the indoor area for cleaning shoes. And um, so this is our front entrance. This is everything that we own is in this one tiny closet. Uh, we have shoes, we have the uh, emergency kits for earthquakes, all the books, um, a lot of paperwork for visas and passports. And then this is interesting, something different. Um, this is what breakers look like in Japan. We've never had to use it, but if you do go on vacation or a trip, they do recommend you turn everything off because it will save a lot of extra energy, especially the water heater here. So please come into our bedroom, living room, kitchen, yoga studio, everything. Come on in. Um, so this is a 1K here in Osaka. Uh, this apartment is about 650 US dollars. Um, it is inside the heart of the city. We could have gotten a bigger apartment, like maybe two or three stops outside of the city, but we wanted to be here, we wanted to be able to walk everywhere, which we can. It's amazing, train systems here, amazing as well. So um, if you've seen the previous video of Supa, Tom Ade, it's a three minute walk to the grocery store. Um, the local train station is seven minutes away and all the nightlife and shopping is 10 minute walk. So this is where you want to be. So this is our living area. Um, oh, before I forget, there is a security system in all the apartments, the newer ones. Um, so if someone downstairs wants to come in, you can see their face um, on the screen. And that's for like delivery purposes and safety. It's nice. One button you don't want to push is the fire button. So the big red button is for if there's a fire, you can push it and then leave and it alerts the fire department so you don't have to call. So that's kind of a, a nice, good feature, but it's kind of scary, like don't push the button. <laughs> so coming into the bedroom, um, this is our lovely bedding. Uh, there is no mattress, like a big bed frame. You can purchase them, but we decided to go with the traditional futon. So it's just gonna have a lot of the foam padding and blankets. It's very cold here in the winter. These apartments are not very well insulated, so it's cold in the winter, hot in the summer. Um, but there is this one unit up here. This is our air con. So it blows cold air, blows heat, and there's a dehumidifier and just a regular fan. So it has everything in it so that we need. Um, when the, it is really hot in the summer, there's this little vent here. So you can allow air to circulate. Even at night when it's not too cold, you can have it open. If you do have it open at night though, it's kind of noisy, so we tend to keep it closed. And we, is Mr. S and I live here. So um, this is our little bedding area. Oh, and before I forget too, the, um, because it's so cold in the winter, um, a little trick here in Osaka is to put bubble wrap on your windows and it does keep the draft out. And since I'm right next to the window here, it really helps a lot. Uh, but I do have extra blankets, so I have my little hedgehog blanket here. Blankets, blankets everywhere. Um, Christmas lights too, we kept them up. Um, it just kind of adds warmth to the apartment. You can't really hang a lot of things on the walls here. Um, so yay for Christmas lights from America. These are $2 lights from Target, yay. Um, here in Japan, the Christmas lights are super expensive. They're like $15 to $20 per strand. So yay Target in America, thank you. <laughs> Um, so this is our little kitchenette area, um, office, and this was purchased at Ikea. This was quite an experience, took us like 45 minutes by train to get out to Ikea, and then we lugged it back on the train and people thought we were like super crazy. Um, we just didn't have enough language skills to have it delivered, so we took it. It was fine. It was a, it was a fun experience. Um, this little section here is where I do my yoga. Um, it works. It's a little, little cramped some mornings, but it's fine. Uh, this is the kitchen, so don't blink, you might miss it. Um, this is the one of the larger kitchens um, in a 1K because of this huge counter space. <laughs> I say huge, but it really is. Some of the other ones, they don't have any of this and it's just the burner and the sink. So I feel very fortunate to have that. Um, there is only one burner and it's induction heating, so it's a little different, it's not gas induction heating so it's flat top and you just push this on and then you can change the desired um, heat on there. It's induction heating. It warms up really fast and cools up really quick so it's nice. 
Um, a couple of different things for food. Um, there's basic stuff. We have tea, we have avocados, mushrooms. Um, but this is something popular that everyone likes to use. It is gomashio, gomashio which is sesame seed salt. So you can kind of see it there. We like this. It's really good, popular stuff. Um, sesame oil. Um, oh, kiwis. Kiwis are really good. Don't know if they're just in season here or, I don't know, super cheap because they get them from New Zealand. But we just discovered that you can, like, eat, eat the whole kiwi. Like, you can eat the skin and everything. Fuzzy? No. I don't like it, but some people do. So that's an interesting fact. Um, so this is a little preparation area. Kitchen sink. This is the one thing I hate about living in Japan. There's a food basket. There are no garbage disposals. So this thing gets full of food, and you have to empty it out, and it's just disgusting. <laughs> I hate it. Um, so the garbage here you have to separate. This is our little storage area down here. You have to separate your trash. Um, so all that junk from the sink goes down here to your food compost and garbage and then separate the plastics. Um, other residences and businesses, they do have a scheduled day for plastics and recyclables. But here I don't know why they make us do it because they just take it all in one day. But I separate it anyway because that's what they want us to do. Um, and then just pots and pans down here, built-in knife rack here, um, one little tiny storage area up here. So it holds just the basics, very minimalistic here, just basics for what we need, two dishes of everything, and that's kind of the kitchen. Our small fridge, uh, we could have gotten a larger one, but we opted for the smaller one because it gives you more counter space for like dishes and extra baskets. Um, something that's not really here in Japan, we brought our Nutribullet with us so we can make smoothies in the morning. It's super loud. Um, no one's ever complained though, so we keep using it. <laughs> um, super small fridge, nothing is in the freezer. We just do a lot of fresh produce. And if you saw the video before about Super Tom Day, we just went to the store today so it has a lot of fresh veggies and everything. Um, moving into the bathroom area. A um, couple of unique features about the toilet area. Um, this is separate. Some of the older apartments, everything's in one unit. So you shower and your sink and your toilet are in one whole like little box. It's kind of weird. Um, it's something we did not want. So this is like a luxury bathroom here in Osaka. Um, so toilet area, a couple of features about this. Um, there is a heated toilet seat. It's so lovely in the winter. Um, and, and then when you flush, the water, clean water comes out of the top so you can wash your hands and you can save water that way. Uh, there's a little bit of storage here and that's kind of it for storage. Um, and then you can see the shower is separate as well. Just a big bathtub. Um, Japanese are big on baths, not so much showers, um, but we can step in. It's a nice walk-in huge shower. So that's a nice, really nice feature. Um, this is our laundry room. <laughs> laundry room um, but uh, this is the laundry here this is what it looks like it has um, only cold water so you cannot wash anything with hot water um, you can take your laundry to a local coin laundry and you can dry it there um, we tend to do that in the winter but in the summer you just put it outside on the balcony and it dries within minutes um, something popular here in Japan too are the wall stickers like I said you don't really want to hang a lot of stuff on the wall due to earthquakes and they don't like holes in the walls so stickers here. Um, something that is unique to the washing machines here, you have to buy this like washing machine powder stuff to clear it out. Otherwise it gets really moldy and it's, oh, it just smells awful. So this helps with that. Um, I try to add like organic green nature things in here to kind of keep it nice and calm. Um, this is my little diffuser aromatherapy. It has sweet orange in it right now. It's lovely. Uh, and this is the final part of the apartment tour. Um, this is the vanity area. Uh, this is again one of the larger ones. Some of the other apartments, they have like shelving units on the side and no counter space. So this is a kind of a rare thing. Um, so this is where we get ready. I've, I've gotten creative with hanging things and the, my beauty bar is pretty small. So um, that is our tour of the apartment. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know. But thank you for joining me, and I will see you again next time. Bye-bye.